Hey there, writers. Welcome to day one of Writing Workshop. Now, some of you have been doing Writing Workshop with me all year, and some of you, this might be the first day. How exciting. Did you know that you're already an incredible writer with incredible things to share? Oh, I can't wait to see the stories that you create and get to read all of your amazing ones. So, a story could be an imaginary story, or it could be a real story, right? We're going to be focusing on writing real stories so that we learn how to be writing experts about stories about something we're already experts on ourselves. And perhaps you can use these stories to share with your crew and crew time and definitely when we're all back together again. So stories about me. Where do we even start? Well, first, let's look at our target. Our target for today and really all week is going to be to use pictures and words to plan and write a story across pages. Some of you may have gotten a notebook that looks like this that has blank writing pages in it, similar to what you see back here, the big box and lines for writing. There's even a cover page for you to create your own cover and your own title. I don't have that. And if you don't have that, you can use loose leaf paper like me or you can use Seesaw because there will be a template for you to write your story in there. And every day you'll get to come back and add some more. So that's step one, where you're going to write. Now I'm writing right here and we're focusing on using pictures and words first to plan. A plan is a way to organize your thinking, to make sure you have all the important details written down to tell what's going to happen in your story, right? And to organize your mind. Then we're going to use words. First, to label our plan, so we don't forget the important things, and then to write sentences to match. That's a lot, huh? We should probably slow it down and take a step back. Okay, step one, a story about me. First, I have to think of an idea. So when I think of an idea about myself, I may think of something that happened recently with me and my daughter. So I'm going to start at the beginning of the story. And in the beginning, I usually tell who it's about, right? and where or when it happened, and a little bit about what the story is going to be about. That's going to be on my first page, because that's the beginning. So the story I want to write about, so that I never forget and can share it with my mom, is about how Maybe and I went to the store to get a new Christmas ornament. We love to find the silliest ornaments we can. This year, we found a stick of butter. That's right, a stick of butter ornament. We laughed so hard and knew we had to get it for our tree. You don't believe me? Here it is. Here's the stick of butter. <laughs> we got it this year because it's so silly. Oh, she likes to fall down. Okay, so I, I thought of my idea. I kind of practiced saying it out loud. Now I need to go back and add a little more detail. So I know my beginning needs to tell who and where and kind of what, right? So let's focus on the beginning. All right. Me and Maybe went to the store to get a new Christmas ornament. That's the beginning. So in my picture plan, I need to use pictures first to record that important information. Me and Maybe, the store ornaments. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so I've got my pictures. I drew Maybe and me. Target, that's my favorite store. And I need to somehow add that we're going to get ornaments, right? So I come back to my Target, I've used pictures, but now I need to use words. And these first kind of words I'm going to use are called labels. And labels help me record the really important parts of my story. Okay, so let's see. I've got my sound card because that's going to help me write the words. Me. I'm going to tap it out. Let's say the word me. Tap it out. M E. What word am I saying? Mm. Oh, the moon. That's right. Mm. E. E just says its name. There's me. And now I can write maybe. Mm. It's that same sound as me. Mm. M. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so me and maybe went to the store to buy ornaments. I didn't put the ornaments in my picture plan. And that's what the story is all about. So I need to make sure that I draw some ornaments inside this store. So I'll add them on the Christmas tree right here, and I'll add a bunch of ornaments, and I can even label the word ornaments. Or mm, nest ornaments. As at the end, ornaments. Okay, 
So the beginning of my story, does it tell who? Yep, me and Mamie. Does it tell where? Yep, we went to the store. I could even be more specific and I could write Target if I wanted to. But the symbol tells that too. When? I didn't say when. Um, the when I don't always have to include, but if I wanted to, I could say last week, right? Or one time, one day, long time ago, except it wasn't because last week. And what? Buying ornaments. That's the top one, right? Okay, so your job is either to get out your writing notebook that your teacher may have sent home or to open up Seesaw and create the beginning using pictures and words to plan. Right now we're just planning our story. Plan the beginning. Tell me who, tell me where, tell me what once you have your idea. Can't wait to see. See you back tomorrow.